Hi guys, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Zen Server on Windows. So after going to Zen.com and registering as a Zen user, click the Download Now button in the top right corner. Great, we get a list of all the available downloads. In this case I'm going to download Zen Server 8 beta version. Okay, we're automatically identified as Windows users, so all I have to do is pick my PHP version. In this case, I'm going to select PHP 5.6. I get this nice thank you message, and Zen Server starts to download. Okay, let's start the installation process. After extracting the package, the Zen Server installer is displayed. Let's get the show on the road. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement and click Next again. Now we get to select the installation type. The typical installation installs all the common options, and it's what I recommend for most users. The full installation will include all the packages available in the installation package, and the custom installation will give you complete control over which packages you want to install. In this example, I'm going to use the typical installation. In the next step, you get to select the web server on which to install the PHP and the installation location. Zen server is bundled with Apache 2.2, but you can also install your PHP on an existing IIS web server. Clicking Next, you now get to configure the web server and the Zen server UI ports. So the wizards check the ports, and it's letting us know that the web server port is occupied. That's because I've already got WAMP installed. But not to worry, all I have to do is change the web server port, check to see if it's alright, and on we go. That's it. All we have to do now is click Install. Zen server now starts to install all the components, extensions, libraries, web server files, etc. How long this takes depends on your operating system and the settings you chose, but it shouldn't take more than a minute or two. Great, Zen Server was successfully installed, and all I have to do now is click Finish. And the Launch Zen Server wizard is automatically opened in our browser. The first step in the wizard is to accept the end user license agreement. In the next step, you select which settings you want to launch Zen Server with. Development launches Zen Server with settings optimized for a development environment, including an enabled Z-Ray. Selecting one of the production options launches Zen Server optimized for a production environment. In this example, I'm going to go for the development option. In the next step, I'm going to enter passwords for accessing the UI. Passwords can be changed and managed later on, but you'll do well to remember what you entered here to save you the hassle of going in and changing them afterwards. Clicking Next, Zen Server installs the built-in PHP libraries. And finally, you can review the launching process and click Launch. Pretty painless, right? My name is Daniel, and that was just over 4 minutes on how to install Zen Server on Windows. Thanks for watching.